What's up guys, this is Dennis from SEO Bots, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use our Shopify product scraper and retrieve product lists from Shopify sites. Before I begin, please like this video to support the channel, and if you would like to see more bot tutorials in the future, uh, click the subscribe button. Okay, now let's start. So first thing that you will need to do is sign up for the website. You will get your test credits, which you can spend on trying various bots out. Now let's look at the output data file, the example output data file, which you will receive after scraping a Shopify website. So it will contain different um, different product data, such as product URL, product name, category, code, prices, uh, whether it's in stock or not, and so on. It actually pretty much depends on what kind of fields the uh, Shopify website you're scraping is using. So these are going to vary pretty much depending on what the owner um, is displaying to the public. Right, so, okay, let's just go ahead and start the bot. It's very, very straightforward. Actually, the only thing you'll need is to provide um, your Shopify URL and the bot will take care of the rest. Okay, so first thing you that you can do is name your job. I'm going to um, skip it. Actually, I'm going to give it a name. Uh, so I pre-searched uh, a bunch of Shopify websites and um, I'm going to scrape all of them in this video. So I'm going to paste their um, names and uh, make the job names sound like, you know, the, the website name, whatever. Um, I'm not going to use a project folder, but you can. And uh, I'm going to go with scraping 10 products. Uh, because scraping jobs usually take a lot of time and I don't want this video to last forever. So I'm just going to pick the minimum. Okay, next let's um, paste this. This is the most important part. Basically, this is it. Uh, you just need to paste your uh, Shopify website's URL in here and uh, you're done. Okay, time setting start immediately and I don't need any notifications. However, you can uh, choose delivery type such as you know you if you want to get notified by email or slack or telegram um, and then finally let's hit the start this bot button okay and while this job is running i'm going to go ahead and start with another uh with another site studio proper also 10 products based in the uh, the URL start immediately disable notifications start and finally the tlux.com okay you can see that house london has already finished as well as studio proper but anyway i'm going to go ahead and uh, create the final job Tlux, so we can so that we can compare different you know output files to each other 10 products paste the url start immediately disable notifications and start okay this is going to be pretty fast because we're only scraping 10 products and it's done okay now let's click on the view data button one two and three all right, as you can see, all of these uh, sites have been scraped successfully and uh, we've retrieved different types of information. Like right here, there is no co code for, for the product, so the field is basically empty. This one has pretty long descriptions which is why the columns look so tall. And this one, 
looks good. Okay, you can now download your data as a JSON, Excel, or CSV file, or you can click here to make this table public and send this link to your colleague. Let's just download this file to have and, and have a look how it looks like. Okay, pretty straightforward. You have your code, you have your URL, you have your prices, whether it's in stock or not, all of it is. You have your descriptions and image URLs. Well, this is basically it. If you have any questions, don't forget to, you know, ask them in the comments and um, like this video, subscribe and uh, see you next time.